So, to understand how much thermal grease must be applied and how to do it correctly, you should first of all realize what is it used for. Remember, the only thing which thermal grease is used for is removing air from a space between processor and heating or radiator. How we know, air has a bad heat transfer, so we use it in our windows to save a warm. But in our case, we have a contrary task. You may ask, how much thermal grease must be applied for good heat transfer? The answer is, the less thermal grease you apply, the better it is. Well, thermal grease, like an air, doesn't perfectly transfer a heat, as for example a metal. So, the less layer you apply, the better it transfer a heat from processor to color. How applied a thermal grease correctly? After we know what is it used for, we will destroy the myth about applying a small amount of thermal grease on processor and press it by cooler. But if you do like this, there will be an air space and heat transfer will be bad. So it must be applied on a whole surface in contact. Where the thermal grease must be applied, on a cooler or on a processor? The answer is easy, on the thing with the less surface in contact. It's obvious, what for the thermal grease where is no contact? If you want everything work good, the thermal grease must be applied in a small amount. You can use for example a plastic card for spreading evenly on the whole surface in contact. The layer must be done as few as possible. If it is necessary, remove the spare thermal grease with finger and smear it again. That's it. It's time to put everything to their places. That's great! The processor temperature has bounced back. Please share this video with others to have less hot processors in the world. Subscribe to my channel if you appreciate your time and don't like Toki Toki. And don't forget to put like if you find this video helpful. Good luck!